What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Auto 3 Garage. As you've seen by the title, I will be installing a receiver hitch on my Mercedes E320 so I can tow. In today's video, I will be showing you how to install a receiver uh, tow hitch from a 96 to a 02 Mercedes E class. So let's get into it. It's not rocket science. I'm gonna tell you the reason why I'm installing a uh, uh, tow on my ATV. I usually use my uh, SUV, which is the Chevy Tahoe. We have a future videos of taking that apart and really uh, doing the inside and possibly going to the outside, like repainting and all that extra little things. But and I think it would be pretty cool to have a, a hitch. I could put like a, a bike rack uh, on the backside if I want to uh, go uh, ride a bike, which I'm planning on doing sometime, but that would be in the near future. Uh, main objective is just to tow my, my little trailer that I have so I can tow my four wheeler. And like I said, possibly have a bike rack on the uh, backside of it. And that's the reason why. And it will be useful and we're going to put it to the test. So enough with the talking. Let me show you how to install this bad boy. And then this is the structure right here. This is the uh, where the spare tire will be at. So we're gonna have to move the spare tire uh, to get a little access. And we have to remove the back bumper so we can uh, pre-drill our holes and slap this um, joker on. And we're gonna put all the mounting hardware, little things like that uh, through it. And secure it down, torque it down, and call it a day and test it out. So let's get to it. And before, <laughs> make sure to subscribe and like. I really appreciate it. Um, I know we're going to grow. Uh, like I said, I want to share what I be doing. Because a lot of people be asking how I be doing this, how I be doing that. So let me show you. So first thing first, we can move this in three, two, one. Yeah. Voila, we got everything clear. I removed my spare tire. And now it's time to figure out how we're gonna remove this bumper. So the first thing you wanna do is remove these eight tabs right here. Remove this, we basically removing this trim piece and I believe you got like a Phillips screw right here. And there on the other side and right there and that should be it but you see this piece already kind of broken got broken by um my jack it was sliding around and just busted it but anyway we moved this trim piece and we got uh three bolts we got to remove and then we're going to slide the bumper off from one side to the other and let's go from there all you want to do is just get a flathead screwdriver and just pry up on this uh, tab. It's gonna be hard because I only got one hand. But as you see with this one, I already got it out, but you wanna just pry it out and then you wanna, um, I'm gonna show you. You wanna pry this piece out first and I'm gonna show you how to do the other piece. Okay, most of them uh, have popped out together. Um, the other piece I was talking about is this little piece right here, which is right here. But you basically just wanna pry it out just like that and I just gotta get these two and that's just pretty much it just pop out these tabs and that's it so disclaimer I know I said eight but it's really six tabs you have to remove uh, these three on this side three on that side and I had a t20 well star bit uh, screw which I use a t20 uh, to get out from right here that's all I had you might have Phillips Shit. Should be out of here. All right, let me get let me get this piece out. In the other one. So basically one here and one right here. Cause I'm like, what's holding me up? Like I said, this piece is nearly broke, so I might need to get a new piece. Um, yeah, I might need to get a new piece. But 
Like I said, let me get this off now. So we finally got the trim piece off uh, with the six tabs and the two uh, star bits, uh, one in this corner and one right here. And now it's time to get to the boat right here and the boat right there. And the boat on the other side of the corner. So once we pop those in, we're gonna slide the bumper out and I'm gonna put my phone on the tripod. <laughs> So we finally got the bumper off. I was struggling, not gonna lie. But we finally got the bumper off. This is, uh, I think, the antenna or whatever. Um, but I just, it was the cable was like uh, in the grooves of this plastic and this piece. Uh, it was literally right there. I just slid it out and removed the wire. Now we got the front bumper away. Now we got <coughs> access. So guys, I have been mocking this up. Um, if you don't have another person, you can use a jack, but I ain't have jack, I just had it propped up on the ground, laying down and uh, having it propped up, which you will see in a bit. But we already did step one and two. Step one is just uh, telling you um, to remove like the rear panel um, and all that little stuff temporarily and it's telling you where to put all your stuff at safely on step two and just being careful. Step three, we now just try to mark the center line and I'm going to go off this plug right here but because it's literally like centered and when I had measured across, I got about like 57 and a half. But anyway, I divided it and that's where my marking was at and that's literally like in the center right there. So I measured from this end to the other end and got it right here. And as you can see, it does correlate. I don't know if you see that little split, but it does it does correlate. So I'm going off this marker right here. So what I'm gonna do, mark it up, um, put some holes, well, well, mark some holes uh, with my Sharpie and then just go from there. This is a real easy setup. You're just removing everything, uh, setting it up, drilling it out and bolting everything up. And that's what we're gonna do. So. Let's get down with step three and let's just drill everything out and just call it a day. And my paper is dirty because of the dirt, as you can see. But yeah, let's get to it, guys. So 
So guys, I got my holes marked up. What I'm gonna do to make it easier being that I'm doing it by myself, I'm just gonna drill out this one hole and basically put a uh, bolt through. And this is gonna be your bolt setup right here. This part going in the uh, spare well right here, as you can see. We have um, the bolt, we got the plate, then we got a washer and just a nut. We're gonna have gonna have four of them because you got uh, two holes on this side and then two holes on this side, so it's just gonna be two uh, each. So you got four. Then on the front side where I'm drilling at now, we just gonna have the bolt and uh, two washers and a nut on the other side. Well, two well the two washers and nuts gonna be on the other side. So we're going to put that one in first. And then we're going to, you know, kind of teeter-tot it through our next holes, put them in, and go from there. It's really not hard. That's real easy. Um, so let's play some WD-40 on here. Go in and put it in. Also, wear some, sun, uh, some eye protection. I'm not, but work some. I guarantee uh, this boat might not go through. Yeah. So I'm going to have to um, change this bit out to a bigger bit. Anyway, you get the gist. I don't want to bore you and stuff, but I'm just basically going to drill this hole out. Mark it up, teeter tot it, probably record a little bit of that footage of me doing it, and just get the whole thing done, and just go from there. So what I'm saying, like teeter tot, is basically doing this, so I can know exactly where I can uh, place the holes at, and everything is like literally, literally, uh, yeah, everything's about on the money where it's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, that's it right there. So I just gotta drill these out and shoot, we good, man. So guys, I finally got it on. I got it bolted up. Um, I got 9 16 uh, bolts. You can use a 14 millimeter socket on the back side. You can use an uh, opening uh, 9 16 uh, wrench, which is uh, right here. I got the 14 millimeter uh, socket on this side. And then I got the nine six heats on the other side. You got your bolt and you got your washers on the other side. And you got four in total. You got two washers of each. And you got one nut for each. And then for here, inside the uh, tire well, we have the plates. Uh, for this, it's like to give it more structure because this is like pretty thin. But it's to give it more rigidity and more structure. So you're going to have these plates over top. And then underneath, you'll have your uh, bolts right there. And as you can see, it was a very easy setup. Um, like I said, all you got to do is just remove everything in here. Remove your uh, little trim piece. Um, your three bolts. Uh, that holds the bumper. Slide the bumper off. Um, what I end up doing, I end up uh, measuring from that end to the other end. Uh, divided it down. And I went straight down in the middle, which is the center. Uh, I got it as much center as possible, as you can see. And once you do that, like I said, if you don't have a second person with you, you can use a jack or you can personally lift it up. Um, but what I ended up doing, you know, marking my first hole, drilling my first hole, and then teeter taught this, and then just went from there. And I did this first. Uh, I left it loose, leave it loose before you tighten it because you want to get them bolts, uh, them four bolts down there uh, in place and all that. But overall, this is a great product. Feels pretty sturdy. And one thing you don't want to forget, we got to torque the bolts down. It says torque uh, the 3 8 fasteners of uh, 45 foot pounds and then the 7 16 of uh, 70. So I believe the 3 8 I believe. I forgot which one, but I believe this one 45 
and others uh 78 um foot pounds so you want to torque torque them down um once they are in place and you got it tight so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to torque it down uh i'm gonna show you and uh go from there so guys uh the front side which is um the 38 so as you can see i got it at 45 foot pounds right here and i'm about to show you all how this uh device works this comes in very uh, handy uh, i use this to redo the uh, chevy tahoe motor um that thing came in handy so anyway put it open in a box wrench or a wrench or whatever on it inside and the boat is i don't think you can see it yet the boat is right there that gold one mm -hmm. the boat is right there so i'm gonna put this wrench on there and show you how it's done that's 45 and me i like to go from here there and there and there so i like to crisscross it and stuff so everything can be evenly but that's pretty much it give you one more down you get the gist of it let me talk it out so guys we got everything torque and this thing oh yeah she's sturdy She's sturdy. Yeah, she's sturdy. She is sturdy. Now, the one thing I have to do is run the wiring. And how I'm going to do that, I'm thinking about drilling like a hole down here. And once I do that, I'm going to put like some silicone so I can like, well, I don't think it's going to matter. But yeah, I'm going to just put some silicone there for the wiring because I'm going to have the wires the part that way and the part that way you're gonna see though i want to come out real neatly coming along here so i can be able to plug in and out right there so it's going to be pretty neat i gotta go get a ball yeah i gotta go get a ball i gotta see what size ball is for my uh trailer but man that was pretty damn easy you just need a few sockets tools and all that and you can do it yourself it's really not rocket science just pull the bumper off mark your holes put in the bolts and you got it trust me if i can do it you can do it anybody can do it and the crazy thing about it is they don't have videos much videos i even, i could not even find videos only seen a template which is all ripped up and gone but i ain't seen no videos on the mercedes so doing this um so i hope you know this would be helpful for the people who want to put a hitch on or possibly want to put your bikes and stuff on um so yeah but that's gonna be it uh give this video a thumbs up um make sure uh, to sub in if you uh, want to continue uh, with my videos send me uh what i do best uh, stay tuned for the tahoe and then for the porsche we got an issue really got an issue i'm probably gonna take everything off this car because i'm probably going to repaint in this car to be honest um so stay tuned for what the issue is two minor issues maybe three but the car still runs great still crank on i might end up doing like a tune-up on it uh getting like a new distributor uh cap and uh, that one other piece i can't name it right now but that's it for uh, the video i really appreciate it uh enough with the talking this is it though this is really it i might do run to the auto parts store get some um rust protection and that's pretty much it. You probably have some pictures um, afterwards. But follow my Instagram. It's going to be probably right there. Yeah, follow my Instagram for insights. Uh, I really appreciate it. Y'all have a blessed day.